Medical Measurement Systems is proud to introduce the Solar Blue Eurodynamic System, an advanced diagnostic tool designed to improve patient care and enhance your practice. The Solar Blue Eurodynamic System is a small, wireless, and easy means to diagnose the causes of incontinence and other urological disorders. It is without a doubt one of the simplest, full-functioning Eurodynamics devices on the market. Developed by Medical Measurement Systems, Solar Blue meets the latest International Continent Society's recommendations and uses state-of-the-art digital technology. As a result, the Solar Blue is very small, 100% wireless, and very easy to use. Solar Blue requires very little space. You can use it as a tabletop system, mount it on a Senesta chair, or use it integrated on the Solar Blue pole and wheelbase. The result is 100% versatility and maximum convenience. And of course, easy transportation makes Solar Blue suitable for use in multiple locations. The Solar Blue is 100% wireless. It is wireless between the Solar Blue module and flow meter, UPP puller, remote control, and computer. In addition, the Solar Blue module is able to run on rechargeable batteries. The result? No more cables, easy movement, more space, and simple cleaning. The Solar Blue software is highly intuitive and logical, requiring minimal training. The software includes an efficient patient database for easy storage and retrieval of examination data. Also, a purpose-designed remote control allows you to stay close to the patient. Using the remote, a complete Eurodynamics examination can be carried out by one person. This shortens examination time, improves the quality of the examination, and provides greater patient privacy. The Solar Blue has been designed to carry out routine Eurodynamics quickly, easily, and conveniently. Each Solar Blue comes standard to perform Euroflowmetry, Systometry, Pressure Flow, and EMG studies. In addition, optional studies include urethral pressure profiles, pressure flow study with UPP, anorectal manometry, as well as biofeedback. Now we will demonstrate how to perform Eurodynamics with the Solar Blue Eurodynamic System. For a Eurodynamic examination, you may use the following items Solar Blue Eurodynamic System, Flow Meter, your choice of Eurodynamic catheters, water perfused, air charged, or solid state, EMG electrodes, saline bag with tubing, sterile prep materials, Senesta chair to position patient. Watch as we demonstrate how to run a complete Eurodynamics evaluation with the Solar Blue. You are now ready for your patient. Hi, Mrs. Jones. My name is Mike. I'm a nurse. I'm here today to perform your Eurodynamic study. Hi, Mike. It's nice to meet you. It's nice to meet you, too. Um, your doctor tells me that you've been having some problems with leaking. I was wondering if you could explain to me exactly what's been happening. For the last couple of years, every time I cough and sneeze, I do leak now. Okay. So we're gonna Eurodynamics is a diagnostic study of the filling, storage, and voiding of urine. With Eurodynamics, you can also evaluate how the pelvic floor muscles and abdominal muscles affect the bladder's ability to store urine. Once all this information is gathered and interpreted, a physician will be able to determine why his patient is having difficulty urinating. Okay, Mrs. Jones, for the first part of the study, we're going to have you empty your bladder using the funnel on the Senesta chair. When you're finished, I'm going to have you get undressed from the waist down and put this gown on. I'm going to go ahead and start the study now, and when you're finished, I'll be right back in to see you, okay? Okay. From the main menu, choose New Patient. After entering the patient's information, choose New Investigation. Then choose Euroflow from the list of available studies. The Euroflow study will measure voided volume, peak and average flow rate, time to peak flow rate, and total flow time. At the end of the Euroflow, you can either manually enter the post-void residual or drain the bladder onto the scale, and the computer will automatically add the volume for you.
Lastly, just click OK and the Euroflow report will automatically print. Okay, Mrs. Jones, first part of the study went very well. So we're going to go ahead and move into the second part of the study. It's called the pressure flow study. It's going to come in two parts. The first part, we're going to fill your bladder. And the second part, we're going to go ahead and empty your bladder, okay? Okay. Okay, so I'm going to, the first thing I'm going to do is get... During the first phase of the pressure flow study, the technician will instill water into the bladder. While the bladder is filling, the technician will assess the patient's ability to store urine by monitoring the patient's filling sensations. During this part of the study, the technician will also try to replicate the patient's everyday urinary symptoms of obstruction, stress incontinence, or urge incontinence. In the second phase of the pressure flow study, the technician will simply ask the patient to empty her bladder as naturally as possible. The catheters will remain in place to measure pressure changes while the patient voids. To start the pressure flow study, choose Pressure Flow from the investigation screen and insert the catheters and EMG leads as instructed. The technician will place the bladder catheter 12 to 15 centimeters in a female patient and in men 12 to 15 centimeters plus length of the prostatic urethra, totaling 25 to 30 centimeters. The abdominal catheter can either be placed 15 centimeters rectally in a male or female patient or 10 to 15 centimeters vaginally. Either method is acceptable. Next, the technician will place three EMG leads on the patient as directed. EMG can be set up as an optional channel in case you choose not to measure it with each patient. In an illustration, catheter and EMG placement will be shown as follows. P vesicle is positioned in the bladder and P abdominal in the rectum of the patient. EMG is recorded close to the anal sphincter with a reference lead at the leg of the patient. As an optional channel for the pressure flow examination, P urethral can be measured at the high pressure zone of the patient's urethra. Once the catheters are prepared and positioned, press the PDET zero button. This will zero the detrusor pressure and even out the P vesicle and P abdominal channels. Next, adjust the EMG and water pump using the up and down arrows next to the EMG and pump buttons either on the remote or computer screen. Lastly, press Start Investigation. During the filling phase of the pressure flow study, the wireless remote enables the clinician to complete the entire study without going to the computer. Not only can pump speed and EMG be controlled by the remote, but up to eight customizable event markers as well as Valsalva leak point pressure can be recorded using the remote as well, giving the user complete control over all aspects of the study. The next thing we're going to do is I'm going to turn the pump on. We're going to begin filling your bladder. I'd like you to tell me when you have a first sensation that something's going on in your bladder. Okay. We're going to mark that as your first sensation, okay? All right. As the bladder is filled, the technician will ask the patient to verbalize when her sensations increase. The tech will also evaluate the patient for stress incontinence by performing Valsalva maneuvers and coughs at set intervals throughout the filling phase. To perform a Valsalva, Press the Valsalva button and have the patient slowly bear down, tightening her abdominal muscles. If a leak occurs, the nurse will use the leak point button to label the leak. The printed results will show in detail the baseline pressure, the pressure where the leak occurred, and the difference in pressure. Urge incontinence, or detrusor instability, is a randomly occurring event that is not usually influenced by intra-abdominal activity. This is exhibited by a contraction of the P-vesicle and P-detrusor pressures with little or no change in the P-abdominal pressure. Any stress or urge incontinence leakage will be recorded by the flow meter if the patient is positioned on a senesta chair or commode chair when the leak occurs. The Solar Blue is also available with an optional wireless catheter puller. Because it is wireless, it is easy to move in and out of your study field, and it gives concise, consistent UPP measurements every time. The UPP results are clearly printed for you at the end of the study. 
The puller works in conjunction with an optional pressure flow study with UPP program. This study allows the user to complete up to 10 comprehensive urethral pressure profiles any time during the test. UPP results include maximum urethral pressure, maximum urethral closure pressure, functional urethral length, profile length, and length to peak. This UPP study utilizes a dual sensor catheter, abdominal catheter, and EMG leads. Okay, Mr. Jones, we finished the filling phase of the pressure flow study, and now we're going to do the voiding phase of the pressure flow study. So go ahead and empty your bladder, and I'll be right back in to see you, okay? All right. Thanks. The second part of the pressure flow study analyzes voiding function to determine if a patient's failure to empty is due to outlet obstruction, decreased bladder contractility, or both. During this part of the study, the catheters and EMG leads all stay in place while the patient voids. Okay, Mrs. Jones, we're all finished. I'm going to go ahead and stop the study, and we're going to take those catheters out. In a few minutes, the doctor will be in to, to see you and go over the results with you, okay? Okay. The study results include comprehensive printouts of the study graphs and data and flow nomograms that indicate obstructed flow patterns. You will also be able to print a customized letter that you can send back to the referring physician, explaining in detail the results of the urodynamic study and your treatment plan. In addition to the Solar Blue, Medical Measurement Systems also offers a standalone Euroflow system called the Flowmaster. The Flowmaster utilizes software that connects to any Windows based computer and lets the technician perform Euroflow studies, communicating via wireless Bluetooth technology, thus allowing the patient to void in a comfortable and private setting. Thank you for taking time to preview the new Solar Blue Eurodynamic System developed by Medical Measurement Systems. If you would like to arrange a free live patient demonstration of the Solar Blue, please contact Medical Measurement Systems at mmsinternational.com. Thank you again for your time.